All right, so we're looking at Smart Learning Suite Online's Shouted Out Activities. So first thing I wanna show you is what the Shouted Out Activity is and where you can find it. So if you're just wanting to create just a single Shouted Out Activity, you can click on the Add Activities button and you can click on Shout It Out, which as it says there, it's a whole class activity, great for generating ideas. Uh, and the biggest thing you need to know about Shout It Out Activities is you can either have it randomized where students can contribute text or images uh, you can select how many contributions or posts a student can make. By default, it's three. Um, you can choose to have student names be anonymous or you can show them. I'd probably recommend showing them most of the time. And uh, you can also select types of categories where students can post their response and choose then which category that response goes to. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second here. Uh, so rather than create one from scratch, uh, I'm actually just going to open up one of my smart uh, online learning suite projects that have a few built in already. And we'll take a look at a couple here. So let's begin. By going to this shout out activity for class. So as you can see, I'm in teacher paste mode right here. Uh, so I have the option to start the shout out activity. So you can provide some instructions for your students first before you hit that start button. Uh, so for this one, we were just talking about uh, where we all come from and we were discussing figurative language here. So this was just a way for me to get to know some of my students. And I said in, um, you know, in, in one, two words or less, you know, tell me something about a place that you're from and it could be a location, it could be a food, something like that. Um, so if I hit start for class, this is the view that I'm going to see as the teacher. So it's just kind of like a blank, blank gray board here. And I'm going to jump in on my iPad as uh, what my student that's in this class right now. And I'm just going to write lit -its. And as a student, I'm just going to send that response. And you can see on my screen that lit -its just popped up there. Now it's pretty small, um, but I do have the ability to drag it, move it around. And as students would continue uh, adding to this list, you can see that they'll just sort of start to pop up. And I just used all three of mine. So as a student side, it's gonna say, great, now wait for your teacher to do something. So I've got I've got three responses here. Um, this shout out activity, I, I like that there's all the space because then I could say, all right, it looks like uh, we have a student here. And if I click on it, you can see it zooms in a little bit. It says that they're from Lidditz. We can maybe talk about it. I might call on that student and ask them to uh, explain a little bit more why they chose that word. Um, but again, you can use this for pretty much anything. Um, we just discovered the other day that if a student would accidentally post something or if it's maybe something that we wouldn't want up on that board, I can always click on that post and drag it in the upper left hand corner to the little trash can uh, and I can confirm that I want that removed from my board. Um, so that is that is uh, just a quick shout out activity. It's very similar to a Padlet. Um, and again, when we're ready to move on, I would just change the slide and we would be no longer in that activity and students could no longer post if I was in the teacher paced lesson. So we're in Smart Learning Suite Online, and I want to show you the student view uh, during a shouted out activity. So I'm going to switch over to my student view page. Again, this is what's sort of displayed up on the board uh, from the teacher point of view. But this is what the students will see, just so you can see the, the basic interface. When you begin a shouted out activity, uh, there is a large text box for students to write their response. So. Go ahead and give my little alliteration example here. Uh, and you can see here that there are three responses left. So that tells the students that they can post three different times. And since we've enabled categories, students have that drop down menu here where they can select which category they are placing their shouted out response in. So in this case, alliteration letter B is where I would select this and I will send response. Now it says response sent, but all the student's gonna get is a new text box because they still have two more responses if they would like to contribute. And again, you can change how many responses that is. But switching back to the teacher's side on the board, we can see that that response appears under the alliteration letter B column. So again, that's just to show you what it looks like from the student perspective. Uh, if the student would come up with uh, another two responses and they don't select a category, it is gonna prompt them to select a category. So that way they're not gonna just forget it. And I'm just gonna create one more response real quick, just so you can see that if they use all three of their responses, it'll say great job and it'll say, please wait for the next activity. So again, it kind of holds the students here if we're in the teacher paste mode. And that way we still have time to discuss before the teacher moves on to the next slide. 